approximately 1.35 million people die each year due to road accidents which results in a 3% loss of global gdp automatic driver assistance systems or adas can play a significant role in reducing these cases using automatic braking adaptive cruise control drowsiness detection and etc in this video we're going to briefly take a look at adas and the recent advancements done in it hey there welcome to learn open cv the roots of adas can be traced back to the introduction of anti lock braking system in the late 70s then in the 2000s tech like radar cameras and sensors made its way into the car with the increasing population and the rapidly changing urban environment this was the correct step adas ranges from level 0 automation to level 5 automation level 0 being as good as manual by level 5 is a full vehicle automation likewise level 1 automation is driving assistance which help in either steering accelerating or braking the vehicle but the driver is largely in control level 2 is partial automation it is a better version of level 1 but the driver still needs to be alert level 3 is a conditional automation system these vehicles can make dynamic decisions using ai level 4 system is a high level automation these vehicles can operate itself autonomously in urban settings and level 5 is full automation system where the vehicle operates autonomously in every environment adas uses real world data to navigate the vehicle the primary data source is sensors and it fuses data from these sensors for a better autonomous driving experience it also uses deep neural networks to detect and track objects like pedestrians and other vehicles the system continuously maps the surroundings and obstacles like potholes so the next time when you drive around the same area you will be warned of the obstacles and finally it uses control algorithms to safely drive the vehicle around traffic adas can automatically adjust a vehicle's speed this is known as adaptive cruise control which uses long range radars meanwhile short range radars are used for cross traffic alerts and rear collision warning lidar which is light detection and ranging can also be equipped for high quality detections this enables a vehicle to detect the oncoming traffic and pedestrians and avoid collision using emergency brakes traditional rgb cameras can also be used to detect traffic lights and lane changing and surrounding view during turns and reversing your vehicle so That was our introduction to ADAS. If you like this video, check out our playlist on practical applications of computer vision. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.